Hello folks. I was about to open this delivery from Patch Plants without filming it. I thought, I oh, know, I can't open anything without filming it. So um, yeah, I was about to open this and thought, well, maybe somebody on YouTube might like to see what a patch plant delivery is like if you decide to use them. This is a non-sponsored video. I paid for these with my own ill-gotten gains. I've had um, plants, house plants from Patch before and I've been happy with them. I think most of them survived. Um, it's touch and go with one of them, but I think that's because uh, I've overwatered. So I needed to replace some dead plants and uh, get a couple of new ones as well it says open this end this way up open here well i am trying to open it Ugh. doesn't want to open but these are live plants i must get them open so they can acclimatize really that's not at all easy right So frustrating. Oh, that's how you do it. I'm doing it the wrong way. Ah, you open it like that. Right. What have I got? What did I buy? Oh, right. Hmm. Here's an obscene looking plant. Not as well packed as the last batch I had. But I think they'll, uh, oh, gonna have to get the vacuum out. There's gonna be some dirt right this is <laughs> this is a uh, plant passport oh no it's a plant no that's not what it is hang on this particular unusual thing is i think is one of the unkillable plants and this is called cedric cedric and it's a sansevieria cylindrica i think that's right so i think yeah these are quite hardy for any of you who kill plants so i've got uh, i've got pots for all these um this one doesn't look too healthy hang on well let's mm. let's get this one out what's this one Hello, welcome to your new home. You. This is called Rick. Rick. Hi, I'm Rick. And what is Rick? Rick needs adjustments. He's coming out of his uh, soil there. He's nice and damp anyway, is Rick. Looks fairly healthy. I'm sure after a while out of the box he'll be fine rick is what is rick where is rick oh rick's not on here surely where's rick it's not oh i'm not sure oh i've got another piece of paper rick is a and i'll pronounce this wrong i'm sure a dracaina fragrance anyway rick is another plant that should uh, survive Right, hang on. Let's take out this one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not, not so impressed with this packaging. The first delivery I got was better. Are there two plants in here? That's small. Smaller than I was expecting. Mm. Come on. Oh, oh, I think there might be two plants in here. Yes, I'd open this, uh, open this on a hard floor in your kitchen or open them outside or put some newspaper down because I'm getting a bit of dirt on my carpet. Oh, blimey. I need a pair of scissors. This is a little wee plant, isn't it? I do have some smaller pots to fill. Oh, goodness sake. I just really want to rip into these, but you have to be a bit careful. They are plants and 
they've got feelings haven't they yeah you're making a mess All right oh oops you're a bit dry rick oh i think I'll, I'll give not rick you're not rick this one needs a bit of a drink that's for sure what's that one called mm, flick i think are you flick you've not got a doodah you've not got name tag let's have a look no nothing well i think you're called flick yeah and flick is another from the Drake dracaina family <laughs> margini margin atta margin atta dragon plant perhaps we can call flick there's another little one here i'm sure i bought a succulent because i've got um two succulents one died and um oh crikey i wasn't expecting this to be so small <laughs> i'm blimey right well i'm sure that will recover that's tiny this is Bertie. I'm pretty sure Bertie was supposed to be bigger. I'm going to have to check the website because that's tiny. I'm sure Bertie was bigger than that. Bertie is a Nephrolepis exaltata. Some sort of fern. He's a fern. Very um, sort of 70s fern that I remember. We had a big fern like that in our bathroom. Anyway, you can get tips on how to look after your plants if you scan the uh, doodah here. QR code thing. So Bertie is tiny. I do have a pot small enough for Bertie. And another one that's smaller than I thought. And oof. This one could do with a little drinky perhaps. Have you got a name? They use some very strong brown tape on these. Right, before you open your patch delivery, get some scissors to hand. I'm gonna to have to get some because it's driving me up the wall. I've never been so angry opening things. I don't know what it is. I'm a little bit disappointed with the size of some of these plants. I mean, it does give you the size on the website, I'm sure. I wasn't expecting such tiny. I mean, it's just like uh, chocolate bars, isn't it, nowadays? They've got a lot smaller. I mean, I suppose that's not, yeah, that's not bad, actually. Um, might give a little drop of water. Is that what they used to call a cheese plant? This is Wallace. And Wallace's proper name, if I can find where we've, where we've got Wallace. Wallace is a Monstera Adansoni. Hmm. I think that's a cheese plant with holes in it. it looks like it's been eaten by uh, slugs, doesn't it? But that's how it should look. Right, so there's that. Got some more plants. Hmm. I think, did I order five? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I must have ordered more. Unless they might not be plants. because Oh, yes, there is another plant here. I've ordered some accessories as well because there was an offer if you spent a certain amount of money you got money off and uh, I ended up buying more to save more so I added a few um, oh that's bigger than I thought you see some are but smaller than I expected and that's bigger oh that's that's this is the one plant that I managed to kill this is Xena now that's a lot bigger. Oh, I wonder if Xena is going to flower. That's a big healthy plant. Xena is a succulent as far as I know. And I think I killed Xena from overwatering. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, not overwater this one. Delosperma. <laughs> Delosperma echinantum. Any gardeners watching this will be absolutely screaming. You're not pronouncing it right, you twat. Well, I'm sorry. This is Zeno anyway. So that's to go. I've got a planter that holds three succulents. Um, and I think that's going to go in the middle. Next to a money tree and uh, some other succulent. 
so they look nice in a little three, threesome a nice threesome right that's that oh dear Xena has shed some bits right I've got some uh, oh I've got some consumables as well but I think there might be one more plant get the scissors before I go mental at this is that a, no I don't know if that is a plant that's not I don't think that's a plant is this this feels plant like yes I think this is a plant ah oh, this is another I think another succulent type I tried I, I meant I went for plants that you could use in bedrooms plants that are very hardy and plants that help to purify the air oh that's that's not oh oh dear well I can always use that if I go to a fancy dress party dressed as Adam so where's where's your name you haven't got a tag have you some have got tags others haven't I'll check all the packaging this one is Penny isn't she lovely and green Penny is a Pilia Pepperomidoides sort of I think that's a is that a money tree or I can't remember the the English term anyway oh she's she's shedding Penny mm -hmm. you do get this oh that's sh but they tend to recover after a while you get tips on how to um, look after your plants right I think that's all the plants I bought let me check against my invoice we've had Xena, Flick, Rick, Wallace and Penny Bertie and Cedric and now the only other bits I've got looks like a jungle in here I've got a few um, accessories this is heavy I think this is what is this Well, nothing's broken so far. Crikey, that's a lot of packaging. Is it a bottle of wine? Oh no, that's in a glass bottle. Yeah, I've got a lot of plants that... Um, the leaves, you used to be able to buy this leaf shine wipe, this sort of tub and you pulled out the wipes and you could wipe your leaves down. But I thought this was a bit more environmentally friendly so it's a beautifying leaf shine spray an all-natural plant-based perfecting spritz to gently clean nourish and shine leaves for a healthy houseplant boost so it's from for most sort of houseplants but not if they've got hairy leaves so that's uh, going to get the dust off my existing plants as well that I've got and then because some plant plants require a bit of misting from time to time I bought this nice little glass bottle patch mister spray oh, which isn't moving at the moment I'm sure there's a little thing it's probably something I'm not doing right I don't know hmm that doesn't move I expect there's uh, something stopping it from moving there might be a little thing I have to twist is that oh there we go I had to twist the top there's a little lock on it so you, you don't accidentally spritz anything you don't want to there's a little safety valve very thoughtful and then the last thing I got and I'm, I don't know if I ordered two of these to make up the money I'll have to check I'll have to check the invoice possibly didn't there's these let me just check my uh, invoice no, it just says one pack. These are a pack of two dust cloths. Look at this packaging, folks. Oh, it's going to be another scissor job. I can't be, can't be bothered with it. Just undo that with the scissors. There we are. So I have two. I mean, I've got plenty of cloths at home, but... Well, I am at home. I've got plenty of cloths. But these are going to be cloths this pack of two and these are just to give my house plants a good dusting from time to time so that's my patch order 
Um, the whole thing came to just over a hundred pounds, I think, but there was a discount. So I think it was 75 pound. I don't know if that's good value or not, but if like me, you don't drive and you can't get to a garden center, your only option really is uh, either finding someone who will take you to a garden center or going online and ordering plants online. And yeah, we've lost a few bits off some of the plants, but all in all, I think I've got quite a nice healthy selection. So I'll leave these to acclimatize a couple of days. I think this one could do with a little drop of water. The others seem fine. And um, I'll put these in some uh, pots to beautify my home for the winter season. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about patch plants, you can comment below. As I said, this is not a sponsored video. I've just thought I might as well show you what I've bought for any of you interested in purchasing plants online. So until the next video, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.